I'll let you play multiple cards together. Can I go last? Sure. Okay. Go ahead, Mom. Go for it, dude. Okay, I need you to leave the card one more. <laughs> You got a cucumber <laughs> jammed up in your ass. It's an ass, though, really. You can't, it won't come out for love or money. That was not an accident, damn it, grumpy garden gnome called Gary. <laughs> it was not an accident. This is plan. Now you have to take Nah, she was just off. honest. There you go. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, okay, I would um, I'd sit in 100 pounds of horse shit. <laughs> I'd uh, put my hand behind my back and I'd, <laughs> I'd take the the um the horse shit. <laughs> and you just say horse shit over and over again. And um, I would uh, and I. Grab the cucumber and I grab the the horse puppy and I just I stand up and I'd be like <coughs> yank. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Gross. Next. Oh, How's this playing game? Okay. Just hold it in front of you until we're done. Okay. okay. So. No, in front of you. So. Um, I'm a college student, and at a party, I got a cucumber stuck in my ass. Jam! 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 Okay. Rough, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody had a little too much to drink, and the only thing that was at the house that we could use was a cheese grater. <gasps> so I had one of my buddies take the cheese grater and slowly grind it out. <laughs> and that's how I got it stuck, unstuck from my ass. Oh, God! <laughs> That must have been tough. That must have been rough. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a visual. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. I said college party. Get it out. You want me jammed it up there? Okie dokie. So, not that this is going to go any better, um, but. I was walking around trying to figure out how to get this cucumber up jammed from my ass. And as I was walking around trying to figure out what I could use, like a stick or, or something to try to pull it out, um, I actually came across a very hungry caterpillar. And <laughs> Dang, this is, that's like the adult version. <laughs> and since he was so hungry, he actually offered to help me out with my little problem. And so <laughs> he went in and ate the cucumber until it was non-existent. Crawled right out and I was good to go. We went out and had a couple drinks after this. It was great. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't talk about it, Bobby. <laughs> Obviously, you'll put some fucking rubber gloves on <laughs> and pull that shit out. <laughs> but it's jam that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell me like to talk shit about your mommy. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god. You got any? You're up. Oh boy. Okay. You got a lot to follow. Um. <laughs> okay, so. You can pass if you want to. Oh, oh damn it! I'm going to pass, I don't know. Okay. Okay. You can also get rid of a card if you want to. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I was going to use all of this. Armstrong's medicine cabinet. Awesome. Awesome. I was going to say, there was a giraffe walking by me. And there's a bag of cucumber stuck in my asshole. Um, he was hungry, so he decided to eat it. And then, yeah. What's that got to do with the card? <laughs> do you not have a giraffe? What? Do you no, have a giraffe no, card? A pig. There's a pig. And 
Send that addition to Carl, whoever. Carl? Yeah. I don't know what his name is. The guy who. Oh, no. Eric E. Yeah. Carl. Yeah. <laughs> the writer of Very Hungry Caterpillar. That's funny. That was Bucking pretty funny. Bucking him? There you go. Oh. You missed. Hang Magic on. shrinking potion. That wasn't good. I was gonna use that, but Dude, I like cheese grater. Cheese grater was funny. <laughs> the cheese grater was funny, but <laughs> shrinking potion is pretty good. If I would have went with the shrinking okay, po- potion, then I would have said that the same college party Why had I one of those funnels. They uh-huh. just poured it right over top of the cucumber. Like a beer bong with shrinking potion. But little, little, little <laughs> did I know it that it, it shrank my <laughs> whole. Alright, uh, make sure you have eight cards in your hand. So if you didn't grab me one, grab me one. Okay, Cheyenne is the escape okay. card. Uh, you're walking out of the safari. Ah, uh, wild beast stampede. Oh, will the beast stampede? Will the beast we should pick another one. Yeah. We should pick another right. one because that was the example. Gigantic gorilla. Oh, I'm like Don Kong or Monkey. Okay. No. So he's at the top of the Empire State Building in the fist of a giant gorilla. Anger management issues. It's a darn good thing I have some homemade ice cream. Awesome. Okay. Oh, Gorilla 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 I'm standing at the top of the Empire State Building, and uh, I see I see this gorilla, and he he coming after me. So I pull out my jack o' lantern kit, and I take a, a knife, you know, and I take the the carving knife, and I put it in into him, and he gets all mad, and then I start carving him like a pumpkin, and I make a uh, a big angry gorilla face in him, and I let him bleed out. What is your card? I'm a jack o' lantern carving kit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, with the new King Kong movie out, we all know that it could be a possibility that there might be a giant gorilla in New York. And I'm going to get out of this problem the same way Donald Trump gets out of his problems oh. with one tweet. <laughs> that was pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> so, I'm stuck up here in the fist of King Kong, and I decided to just ask him why he was so pissed, why he was up here, and why he was causing all these problems, and why he decided to kidnap me. And I found out that it was because he's a really, really big fan of One Direction, and I took the last VIP tickets to see One Direction, and he wanted them back. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> All <right. laughs> well, I was hoping King okay. Kong was, I don't know, like all of them, basic white bitches uh, around Halloween. 
So, you know, I pulled out a nice old pumpkin spice latte for him, and, well, I just hoped. <laughs> it didn't work. It was basic. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... You are so lucky tonight, Roxy. Yeah. She doesn't do this shit when there's not a backyard for her to go into. Could she just, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was just about to go on my lunch break, and I was about to tell the land behind the state building, and this gorilla comes and snatches me up. So, I was about to be on my lunch hey, break. I had a, a fluff or nut in my yeah. pocket, and I thought maybe he'd like it. So, I gave it to him, but then he ate it. So he was hangry. Okay, I can go for hangry. Uh, Alex, uh, can you uh, give me a glass of strawberry lemonade, please? Pink lemonade? Strawberry. Okay. Is it more strawberry? I think it's better than going to see this, but I'm really not. This is good practice for you, though. Uh huh. Remember what I said, Sean? I'm not very good at this because, like, oh my gosh, creative. Tony, I don't think you remember this, but. Shiny, hey mom, I think I'm gonna join drama club. And I said, Shiny, you have a lot of drama. You need to get it all out. I don't have drama. I don't have drama. I don't have drama. I'm a little torn. The whole night ecstasy was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> but then the only thing I could think of is that he'd be like wanting to pet you instead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's me. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody knows. Me. Yeah. Okay. Alex. Wait, what's this again? Uh, Donald Trump one tweet. Yeah. That, that was funny. Hey. Guys. What? Did you get my glasses? No, I'm sorry. Can you go get one? Uh, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. Mm-hmm. What's that thing? Pink card. Ukulele. Ukulele. Oh, flip it. Hey, flip it over. What? Wait, read it. Read it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. No, no, you don't want it, buddy. You don't want it. No, I want it. Here, negative. here. Negative. That's Harry Coconut and Haunted Oven. I want yeah, it. That's much better. Oh, I want it. Give me it. I no. want it. No. no. I want it. No. Why? Because I said so. I will quit playing with you if you don't back it up. I'm going to call. Okay. Stop. You're the United States president, and the intern you definitely have not had sexual relations with is going to the press. <laughs> oh, what do you want to be perfect? <laughs> yeah. Shit. You know, I like that car. Mom, why can't I have that car? Because it was inappropriate for somebody your age. Mm-hmm. Done. <coughs> uh huh, it was inappropriate. Take way. Mm. Rocky, Can you did again? Just, you're the U.S. President. In the intern, you definitely have to have sexual relations. Oh. Oh. Side. She knows that there's a backyard that she used to be able to run around in, and she can't. <coughs> okay, this one sucks. Skip it. Do another one. Oh, come yeah, on. my joke wasn't good. I didn't like it. Did you what was yours? Did, yeah, just Do say it. yours. Okay, well, clearly you need to make some, like, other controversial media news going on. So you release your dad's dick pic. Yeah, 
Yeah, because I couldn't do anything. That is bad. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Here's your problem. You light a fart and the wind blows it back. Turned it into strawberry air. Okay. No, it turned it into strawberry shortcake. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A strawberry air to make the strawberry shortcake. Yeah, strawberry air cake. Yeah, strawberry air cake. Okey dokey. I live your in the moon, okay? Your shit is so obscure, dude. Okay. Well. <laughs> to live in your head. <laughs> I, everybody's been to McDonald's, correct? You, we all know how the ice cream machine is never working. Just figured out why. Okay, I just figured out why. I was at McDonald's when I did this. We were on a break and my friend dared me to light my fart on fire. It burned a hole right through my uniform. So I thought the only way I could get some relief was to go to the ice cream machine. And then I, and then I, uh, my friend accidentally hit it and turned it on and my pants got stuck in the machine. So my McDonald's uniform was ruined. That's the greatest issue. Um, so obviously, you know, it was me following a stupid boy, which mm-hmm. happens quite a bit. And they, you know, have the tendency to suggest that you do stupid stuff. Um, so we thought it would be funny to light my fart on fire because, you know, girl farts smell better than boy farts, so it That's might be funny. a little bit better. Um and it came back, and it ended up coming back into my ass, and I couldn't get it to stop. My pants were on fire. I was running around like a crazy person. And luckily, because I was also following a stupid boy, we had also taken super soakers to <laughs> the location where we were, and so we used the super soaker to put my ass out. <laughs> like a giant enema with a super soaker. <laughs> Well, this is an easy situation for me uh, because I just so happen to, to grow up being made fun of for my uh, extra chromosomes, which granted me a second asshole to, <laughs> to release the spark from. <laughs> <laughs> Right back, and it was like a baby screaming in my face. 
right in front of my face. That's how you escape? Because my child had been 30 seconds. Hi, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Spongebob because I hate Spongebob. <laughs> in the Death Star compactor and the walls are closing in. It's not that you just wanted to hear it It's not that you didn't read it correctly. It's that when you read it in chunks, it's really hard to follow. I read it slowly because I don't read very well. Okay. Well, no, I get it because you I'm couldn't see, see it very it. well, but somebody needs to read the outside of that. Hydro car. Yeah. Alright, the car. Alright, you have? Yeah, I do. I think. Um, I just did. You're trapped two, in the Death Star's trash compactor and the walls four, are closing in. Trash I've said it. Okay, there's one right in front of you. Thank you. The and it squishes the trash. Maybe she used two cards in this class. It'd be fun. Okay, I'm game. Do you want to use two? Ooh! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I don't need to use two. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there's two. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Over here. Coda, can you get that one more time? You're dropped in a trash compactor. In the Death Star. In the Death Star. It's the scene where they're getting crushed uh -huh. in by the trash compactor. Huh? In it. Mine's perfect. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mine's. I should pee so bad. I do a Coming over Saturday. Yeah. Is he okay with you all? I have a two minutes. If we're coming, well, if we're getting suits, so Dakota, if you guys aren't coming over Saturday, then he needs to come with us. Well, unless you're, you unless you're gonna take him with you guys to get a suit. <laughs> I will go. Uh, 
What about me? Do you have to wear a dress? Yeah. Do you want to see my We all know this is a scene in Star Wars, and they got up, so the only thing I need is a bachelor's degree in drama. <laughs> bachelor's degree in what? Drama. In drama. He's, saying he's, he's saying his escape plan is being an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you all know, I just started working as a stormtrooper on the Death Star with my first real big gig and I was totally excited and the other guys decided that in order to pass initiation I had to sneak into Darth Vader's room and steal something from his room um, so I managed to get in there and I started going through all of this stuff trying to find something really really good to impress these guys you know initiation don't want them to pick on you the rest of the time you want to be a cool guy at the job so I ended up finding this gigantic, like, foot-long dildo in one of his drawers. And he started to come in the room as I managed to grab it. So I had to, like, hurry up and run and escape real quick and got outside and saw that there was a trash chute. So I jumped down into the trash chute to try and get away so I wouldn't get caught. And no sooner do I get in there, does it start to compact everything on the inside of the trash compactor. So the only thing I can think of to stop it from crushing me is to hold it open with this foot warm dildo. <laughs> so I used Darth Vader's, <laughs> Darth, Darth Vader dildo, sorry, it was Darth Vader dildo. I have a question. I used Darth Vader's dildo. Not question. <laughs> what? What's a dildo? <laughs> Yeah, mom. Yeah. Uh, please elaborate. Is your uncle Ron? She found a gumball machine in the trash compactor 
and used that to prop it up sideways so that it held the trash compactor from squeezing everything shut and managed to escape through the door using the tortoise shell that she had on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> Wait, how do you do that? <laughs> oh my god. Ah, imagination, Cheyenne. Or, hey, Sean, here's a better reason. Here's a better reason. Were you a tortoise and you bit a gumball machine to make it stay up? So then you, as a tortoise, could fall out? Uh, negative, Ghost Rider. Because That's still not as good. Because when tortoises die, they don't. We're gonna go with Tony Stone. That's mine still. Hey, Mom. Okay, so, uh. She jumped in that trash compactor with that thing. Unfortunately, I was already stuck in there. And Darth Vader had been busy earlier that day with a miniature pony in a fat uniform. <laughs> <laughs> and they were still in there, so we kind of just wedged them down the wall to hold the trash compactor open. It um, worked. A miniature pony in a fat uniform? Mm -hmm. Awesome. <clears throat> and that is how the unicorns became extinct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coda. Okay, so as many of you guys know, uh -uh. No. so as many of you guys know, they're on the trash compactor already, and so uh, and I I came in there and just you know it, it just closed, and uh, I I was I'm a bigger guy, so I uh, I took my uh, my little uh, tub of lard that lives down here. Right. And I uh, used it to hold open the trash compactor, and I lifted up my legs, and I escaped out, and I uh, and I ran for dear life. Uh, I was on, it was on a planet, and uh, it was by the by the atmosphere. So I I got out, and I ran for dear life, and I found a, a spaceship, and. I got in the spaceship and I got back to Earth safely and calmly. Less is more, buddy. What was on your card? Tubble lard. Tubble lard. <laughs> Tubble lard. Yeah. Okay. And this is the Tubble lard right here. <coughs> okay. Um, ouch. Okay. Alright. I gotta go with Michael. Let's see if I can't. Read your story. I know. I totally can't. Story stealer. Like that was oh, it's a movie. I'm an actor. Oh, um stupid story. I promise. What? Who you pick? Did he pick? Oh, who do I pick? Yes. <laughs> Is it because you're learning a new word? No. <laughs> it was funny. She wanted to know something really funny. What? I think when your mom was your age, she called Uncle Ron. Were you your <coughs> She called Uncle Ron a dildo. So then, Mom, why do you not want to see He was going down the stairs, like, over there, and we were arguing, and I was like, You son of a dildo! I was like, flying across the kitchen. And whacked me upside the head. Because everybody yeah. voted for Mikey. <laughs> but Dakota picked you. Uh huh. But majority voted for Mikey. I thought whoever only, read the only if it's a tie. Yeah. So majority rule, unless it's a tie, and then the that person mean? that read the card gets to pick. What does that mean? Um, tassels on your nipples. So, <laughs> tassels. What's a tassel? The rope strings. Yeah. Ooh, so I can be like. Mm, mm. No. <laughs> No. I got the one. Clay. Right. <laughs> so that's perfect timing because it is after it is quarter or er, ten to nine. So it's time to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. This would have been the best card for the last one. I would have used the pop pop up tent to hold the uh, 
to hold the trash compactor open. So See? Oh, that's that one's a good one. A blue shaped vegetable with a pack of XXXL products. Oh, look at this. That goes right along well, with our cucumber experience. No, 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 no. Look at this. 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 Look at this.